If they don't invite you, don't go. If you feel uncomfortable in a situation, don't stay. This is about learning to remove yourself from situations that don't value your presence. Remove yourself from situations that do not illuminate your presence. If you do not learn to take yourself out of situations where you don't belong, you're just gonna keep ending up wasting your time and ending up in disappointment. And trust me, that feeling is not good at all. Nobody likes to feel disappointed. But you're more than that, so why pity yourself down and just put yourself in places where you're not supposed to be? You know, instead start putting yourself in places where you are actually valued heavily, where your presence is actually valued, where you're appreciated. It's, there's a difference, guys. Once you start to realize that you are in a place where you do not belong and you remove yourself out of it, you will get better positive results than just sitting in places where you're not supposed to be. Trust me, like, for example, let's say you're talking to somebody. If I'm talking to you, giving you information, and you're just sitting there acting like you don't care, acting like a wall, like I'm talking to myself. I'm gonna simply turn around, go about my day, and I'm not gonna talk back to you. <laughs> I'm not gonna continue talking to you because obviously there's no point. I'm wasting my time and obviously I'm wasting your time. For example, that's a situation where I'm not wanted, where I'm not supposed to be at. You are not needed. So for example, that if that happens to you, turn back around, go about your day. Do not worry about that. No more, do not worry about the person because if they weren't giving value into you, you shouldn't give any value into them. Like there are greater things that you can invest your time into than just things that are not gonna be benefiting you. Whatever you put most of your time into is what you're gonna get. Like for example, you put most of your time into your phone, right? You're just gonna get like, if you were on social media all the time, just fooling around. If you're just sitting on social media just for entertainment, then you're just wasting your time. Meanwhile, you could be investing your time using it wisely by just you could be reading you could be gaining information doing different things learning experiencing whatever the freak my light just turned bro don't play with me like this is my only light please i need you please <laughs> what was i saying um mm, mm, mm. but yeah that's just examples of what you could invest your time into which will benefit you and make you grow instead of just wasting your time and I think I was in ninth grade or whatever grade I was in, but I remember I was trying to fit in with this group of girls, right? Because I didn't have enough understanding last year or the year before that or whatever. I wanted to fit in with them because it was obvious like I wanted to be, I wanted to be like, oh, so-called popular. I know I don't want to be popular no more because mm -mm, now I see what it is for real. It's just overrated and it's just garbage and it's a waste of time. But I try to fit in. Meanwhile, they were just doing this whole bunch of dumb stuff. Like, man, what were they doing? They were doing like um, dares and pranks. And these were really dangerous dares, like dangerous and severe. Like, I don't even know if I could say it on YouTube, but it's just they were not child friendly. So they were just doing really bad, dumb things. I wanted to fit in because they seemed so called cool to me at the time. I don't know why. But then I'm glad I didn't do anything because I stopped myself. I was like, yeah, I'm not how to get involved in that because once some girl told me what I had to do in order to be her so-called friend I was like yeah I'm not doing that I'm not trying to kill myself just to be your so-called supposed to be friend most of the time it's not even worth it when you try to fit in with people because they friendships don't really last in high school or middle school whatever some of them is really weird that they last but most of the time they don't last and I was trying to fit in I was like okay but I didn't do anything dumb Thank God. Meanwhile, I was sitting back being like a bystander. I was observing the girls in the group. They were just copy, they were just copying each other, like copycatting, doing what this person says, what this person says, just to be a group, a clique. Meanwhile, they're not even real friends like that. They don't even check up on each other. They don't even like greet each other sometimes. It's like weird. And then I'm sitting back reflecting on that. I'm like, why did I ever want to be in that group? It's really sad that those girls were just doing those things because they were just belittling themselves just for like the bare minimum for a friendship that won't even last. And they don't even realize that. And I'm glad that I realized it way before I did anything. That's just to show you like sometimes when you're in a situation where you try to fit in, meanwhile, God is trying to tell you, no, you're not supposed to be in there. Whatever, if I got into that group, that would destroy my mentality heavy i would have been doing bad stuff y'all it's really true like sometimes it's really not worth it to fit in especially if you're young when you're watching this video don't try to fit in especially if you feel uncomfortable in a situation don't do it because you don't know how it could affect you do what's comfortable for you even if you have to be alone you know just rock alone like be like me right now i'm alone i'm chilling alone that's why i like to be alone a lot and people will be like isn't it bad being alone isn't it this isn't it lonely isn't it depressing you don't know me I'm in my happiness and I'm in my peace. I like being alone, so people just really don't get me like that. People, people don't get jazz, but nothing wrong with me. 
I just like being alone. I gain a lot of knowledge with being alone by myself than just being around a lot of people because I can't think straight. If I'm talking to you, I can't multitask. That's the part of me. Like, I can't multitask on two things, three things at once. I don't know. That's just something I can't do. And when I'm talking to somebody, I really focus on what you're saying to me and what I had to say to you back. Like, I'm really focused on that. And I can't really think about other stuff that I'm supposed to be thinking. And like, I'm mainly focused on the person in front of me than the surroundings. But when I'm rather being alone, I did, I could think a lot more clear. I could think more straight. I could think about what I'm gonna do and what planning and stuff, like a lot. I could think a lot more than being around people, especially if it's a group of people. That's why I don't like being in groups of people. Like I can't think straight. I don't even know what I'm even gonna do. That's why I like to be by, by myself. Second thing that benefits with me being alone, it's more peaceful and I gotten way more closer to God. Cause when you're around people, sometimes people do not like God. I don't know what's it, I don't know what's up with people hating God. God is just probably just making you wait and you're just mad. I started to understand him more. I got connected with him a lot more. It really is more peaceful when I'm by myself. Cause <clears throat> yo, come on. Like this is every video, like my voice. I don't talk that much. Not used to talking as much. Yeah, it's more peaceful when I'm alone because when I'm around people, I don't like people talking to my ears 24 seven. Like I don't need you telling me what your grandma did to you last week, what your mom did to you yesterday. I'm not the type to gossip. I'm not like the type to listen to family drama, drama this thing, this person did to you, da da da. I don't care if it's selfish, but I would rather focus on my own thoughts than just surrounded like, like freaking birds. I'm sorry. It's just annoying to me for some reason, even though it could probably offend some of you guys. And then another thing that I benefit from being alone is I could depend on myself for anything, bro. If I'm lonely, I could depend on myself to make myself feel better. I could depend on God because God is always with me. I could depend on myself for food, for water, for whatever I need since I'm still young and I'm a minor. But when I'm older, I'm going to be working hard for the stuff that I need for myself because I'm not going to be relying on anybody. I will not be happy if I do, if I rely on somebody for my needs because it's my needs. It's not your responsibility. Even though it may seem like a nice gesture, I would rather depend on myself for everything. I'm sorry. I really like rocking alone. Some people may be really offended, but it's just me. It's just sad because most people can't live being alone. Like, I'm realizing that right now. Like, I saw it on TikTok. Oh, talk. I saw a TikTok once of somebody saying that people, certain people cannot live being alone. They always need somebody to be around, somebody to depend on. And I feel like, that, I feel like that's really sad because, man, you really can't be alone. Like, I'm not bashing you. I'm just really questioning. Like, you really can't be alone. People really like to depend on other people for things, but sometimes you depend on people for stuff. They won't really make you as happy as you want to be. That's why you make yourself happier than anybody else can make you. Even God too. God can make you happier than anybody else can. Any human relationship will not fulfill you as much as God can. God knows you better than you know yourself. So people do not know you that much as you know yourself, even if they know you for a while. And there's plenty more benefits if you are alone, if you, whatever. It's really not a bad thing as people make it seem for some reason. I don't know why society makes it a bad thing. It's really not. It's really peaceful for me. And I feel like you could benefit a lot from it. Everything really is patience. You have to be patient. If you're in a situation where you are not wanted, you have to be patient with yourself. You cannot just be like, oh, I have to be here because da -da -da -da. I don't have time for this, this, this. It doesn't matter what scenario. If you do not belong in a situation, you do not belong in it. You are not supposed to be there. God does not want you to be there. Even if you think there's little to no harm to whatever you're doing, where you're not belonging, whether that be a party, somebody's house, backyard, around a certain person, around a certain group of people, whatever. If you're not, if you don't belong there, your body will warn you. Your body will give you that intuition to know, okay, I don't belong here. I gotta leave. You know, you have to listen to your intuition, even though you may be like confused. Constantly listen to your body, constantly understand what is going on. Your body will save you before anybody else can. So that's why it's really important. You have to be patient with yourself. It's really important that you have to learn to take yourself out of places where you are not supposed to be. It will save you in the long run, even though you may not know it, even though you think you just want to have temporary fun or whatever, you will save yourself no matter what scenario. Learn to be patient, okay? Whatever, whatever comes to you, comes to you. Whatever God, bro, I even wrote this down. You have to realize whatever is for you will come to you. You will attract whatever you want to come to you. So you really can't force anything to be where you want it to be. Put yourself in a place where God wants you to be. Put yourself in the path that God wants you to be in. 
even though it may seem uncomfortable for you or it's not your particular lifestyle that you're used to there's always a reason behind what god wants for you it'll make you stronger and it'll make you happier in a way that you do not know of you do not know yet what god has for you if you do not if you're not patient you're just wasting your time being in somewhere you're not supposed to be if you just wait for god and just be patient with yourself listen to god obey him you will be the happiest that you will ever be i'm obeying god right now i'm really feeling at peace right now god is giving me peace i'm blessed and i am strong i believe i'm strong some people don't think i'm strong but that's their opinion but i believe i'm stronger than i've been in the past few days weeks whatever in my past every day i believe i'm getting stronger and stronger and i feel like you should believe that too stay on the path that god wants you to be in do not be around the wrong crowd do not be in the wrong situation at the wrong time most deaf i hope you guys understood what i got to say in this video um i've been talking for a while like 15 minutes my edges my edges are gone baby my edges are gone <laughs> but um i'm gonna be ending the video off here i hope you guys like this video so much i love you guys oh my gosh like you guys are the best um dude i love i love it here i wish you guys the best and i hope you guys have a good day good night wherever you are um jazzy's for life is out bye guys